So it's a matter of working together, the network of people who care about what goes in, what comes out, and how to really bring on board the wider audience, the, the children, but people who don't know why they should care about the ocean. We as the youth are the future leaders of the country. So in order for us to enjoy a more sustainable future, we need to be able to bear the responsibility and embrace it because, I mean, no one can do it for us. So I think that some of the goals for Africa for really understanding the waste issues is really getting a handle on how much is there, where is it coming from, how does it move through the environment, what are the impacts, and then what are the interventions or roles and opportunities for reducing those inputs to the environment before it actually reaches the ocean. Well, education anywhere, and especially in Africa, is such a critical part of the overall issue of marine debris or marine litter or marine waste. Um, specifically, really preventing it because once it's already out in the environment, it's so expensive to remove and challenging. And so finding ways to reach people and change behaviors, whether that's through increasing awareness or making them aware of the impacts or just even giving them um, opportunities to know how they can contribute are all really important ways to address the overall issue. The benefit in terms of social upliftment, um, the whole broken window syndrome in terms of lack of litter, you start seeing less litter, people are less likely to litter. Um, and they're not going to do that because they're going to be thinking, hang on a second, there's a value in this somewhere. So it's about changing perceptions based on realistic requirements um, from a Maslow's hierarchy requirement as opposed to trying to tug on heartstrings. It, it, it's got to be real. Uh, progress in, within both the Nairobi and Abidjan conventions are really focusing on waste as, a, as an issue in the marine environment and other forms of pollutants that are, are entering the marine environment, um, which means that the governments are starting to take it seriously. Well, Africa is a priority to solutions to marine litter because um, it's, a, it's a big continent with a long coastline um, and um, uh, not a lot of uh, proper waste management systems in place. Marine litter is a global challenge, uh, so we need to address it globally and that's also the reason that I was invited to come here because we do cooperate with our colleagues from South Africa. I've been very impressed by the, the, the conference and one aspect that uh, 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 for me has been a, a, a unique is the representation of the business community. So I think the organizers of, of, the, of the, uh, this conference should be very proud. We all have been struggling to get the, uh, the business, to, to engage the business community in all our discussion. We have not been as successful as this conference has been. So we also see the network could play that uh, catalyst role in dealing with uh, issues around uh, marine waste uh, and marine litter. So when I talk about waste, I don't talk about recycling. I talk about education, health, uh, nutrition, um, infrastructure, uh, job creation, skills development. Those are the things that, that are, are going to drive the thing forward. Um, if we continue to think along the old naive lines of what recycling is, we're never going to make it happen. So this has been a really exciting conference. It's a great opportunity and a real nexus bringing together industry players, researchers, educators, tourism businesses, and bringing all those people together to look for how we can work together to collect information, to provide economic benefits, to reduce litter entering the environment. It's really exciting to see such a diverse group of stakeholders brought together, working together. That's really exciting. Hey!